It is pothole season, and the Oakland County Road Commission says it's received a higher number of requests for pothole patching and subdivisions. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. Yeah, and I'm Glenda Lewis. People living in Waterford Township at Riviera Terrace and Lakeside Drive are pushing for those requests. And the Road Commission is asking for patience while blaming drastic weather changes for the problem. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is there with a closer look at the Road Commission's priorities. The road conditions lately have just been awful. Janice Benjamin says potholes are a part of the landscape in this Waterford Township subdivision where she's lived for 30 years. A matter of fact, people are putting um, those cones in the holes and that to keep people from losing their tires or stuff like that. And you, you have to go up in people's lawns to get around it. It's just been terrible. Craig Bryson is senior communications manager with the Oakland County Road Commission, where they are letting residents know we hear you. We've had a lot of potholes pop up, especially on some of the older subdivision roads throughout the county, and we've been getting a lot of calls from people asking that we get into the subdivisions. Heavily impacted by the repeated freeze-thaw cycle and drastic fluctuations in temperature and precipitation in recent weeks. However, we have to prioritize the busier roads. Safety dictates that we, we patch the, the roads with the most traffic volume, moving at the highest speeds first. So those are the, the freeways, the busy surface streets. While the Road Commission is prioritizing high volume roads first, crews, as you can see, are managing to get to neighborhoods that desperately need the work. We're actually doing a lot of overtime work trying to get as many of the subdivisions as we can, uh, but we've got 1,300 miles of subdivision roads, and so it's taking us a while to get through all of them while also still doing the main roads and handling the other routine maintenance activities that we do. He said because of the high number of requests for patching, the commission is unable to give a time frame for specific neighborhoods. However, this crew's presence isn't lost on Janice Benjamin. We're really happy they're finally starting to get out here. At the same time, many residents tell 7 Action News they prefer a long-term fix, which of course takes money. Bryson says subdivision roads have quote unquote exceeded their design life and are in poor condition, and it would cost at least $500 million to rebuild them. The Road Commission says it only receives about $3,500 in funding per mile of subdivision road annually. So it's patching in the meantime. We just want people to know we, we haven't forgotten you. We're not ignoring you. We're getting there just as quickly as we can, and we appreciate your patience. In Oakland County, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.